With 2011 off to a chilly start for much of the country, it may be easy to forget that we just wrapped up a year that tied 2005 for the title of the warmest year on record. In fact, 2010 rests on top of decades of warming. 2000 to 2009 ranks as the hottest, and each of the past three decades, well, they were hotter than any previous decade. This warming trend raises the question of what is normal or average climate? Technically, a climate normal is the weather of a particular region averaged over 30 years. But if the planet keeps warming up, then there isn't really a normal climate for a given region. The current normals average the weather between 1971 and 2000. The new normals will drop the 1970s, a relatively cool decade, and add the 2000s, the hottest decade on record. This map shows the difference between those two decades in terms of January minimum temperatures. And with all this red, it's pretty clear that January has warmed up across most of the United States. So why do these new normals matter? Energy companies, for example, use 30-year normals to forecast sales, heating demand for the winter ahead. If your normal isn't accurate, your sales forecast won't match your weather forecast. So this is one reason why every decade the National Climatic Data Center releases new temperature normals for 10,000 regions across the U.S. And utilities aren't the only organizations that need high-quality climate information. Agriculture companies use normals to help determine what seeds to plant where, and meteorologists use them to put daily weather into a historical context. The new normals NCDC releases later this year will include not only new normals for temperature, but for rainfall and snow too. I'm Dr. Heidi Cullen. Check back soon for another climate update.